Welcome to Japanese Cooking 101 with Jason Sultana. Welcome to my kitchen where I'll be showing you how to make something in about 15 minutes, probably, um, with nothing more than a plate and some chopsticks, which I have over here. You'll notice that unlike in most Japanese restaurants in Tokyo, I have salt. Thank you, Dad. And over here I've got some rice pre-boiling, um, so I'll just give that a bit of a stir. You've got to stir the rice, make sure it gets nice and stirred. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I saw a thing on Facebook that says, uh, actually, if you leave a wooden spoon on a boiling pot, it won't overboil. And it hasn't happened yet. It's come close and I've turned down the temperature. I don't really want to tempt it. But... Um, yeah, it hasn't happened yet, so what do you know, Facebook? I've got a pan over here that's been pre-oiled. I've got all that nice and oiled. And over here, I've got a pack of, I believe it's chicken, um, capsicum and cucumber with some kind of sauce. And you'll notice I bought this pack for about... $2.75 is what it says there. It's 276, 276 yen. Um, yeah, so not bad, not bad. Quite, quite cheap. Uh, reason is it expires, it expires today. So, <clears throat> my timer went off, my rice is almost ready. Um, yeah, it expires today, so I have to use it today. Um, but that's cool. Sadly, I did have some nice salmon in the fridge. The fridge is still a little empty, but it's a lot fuller than when I first moved in. Um, yeah, that's expired, and I've got a freezer down here. It's, it's the opposite, opposite to uh, Western style. I'm in the Orient. Um, yeah, so I have to use this today. My rice is about ready. So what I'll be doing now, just give that a bit more of a stir. What I'll be doing now, if you can all follow on, follow on at home, is uh, on your gas stove, just turn on the other element. I'm going to take this off for a second, just so you can see the cool blue fire. Check it out. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's actually a little bit high, so let's turn that. Turn this fella down, eh? Yeah. This is Aussie cooking. Aussie cooking in Japan, eh? So once this once this oil starts to boil, I reckon. Hey, I just made a rhyme, eh? I reckon I'm gonna pop this sucker in and fry her up, eh? Yeah. So uh, I might pause the video here, maybe, maybe until this sucker starts to uh, starts to get a bit get a bit hot. Oh yeah, she's getting there. She's getting there. Rev her up, mate. Rev her up. Bread is surprisingly expensive in Japan. What you would pay for a loaf, a full loaf, I pay for about six slices, but you'll notice the slices are bloody thick as. Look at that, eh? About a dollar forty for this sucker of six slices of bread. They should cut the slices a bit thinner and then I'd have more bread. But uh, it is it is filling. I had two sandwiches with that for lunch and it's, it's filling. And... Uh, yeah, mum and dad, I have oil in my cupboard, but it's actually rice oil. I'll let you know how that goes. This is my first time actually cooking with oil. Uh, rice oil, anyway. So, um, yeah, yeah, bread bread is expensive, and because of that, and because of that, um, oh, yeah, that's nice and, nice and, whatever you'd call it. So I'm going to, uh, let me put this fella down. Yep, there she goes, there she goes. So you can see I'm stir-frying this, so I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. But the rice oil seems to be working pretty good. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, bread. Bread is expensive in Japan. 
So my um, my tradition of taking sandwiches to work in school for lunch is actually rather expensive here. It's quite it's cheaper. It's cheaper for me to actually uh, either buy a uh, a small bento with rice and things, but it's even cheaper still for me to make one, which is why I bought today a pack of these plastic containers, and I'm going to start cooking things and taking taking lunch to work. So I hope you're all following on at home. Hope you're all following on at home. Sadly. You can't buy this stuff, probably, because you're not in Nippon. Certainly not for two dollars. I mean, the catch is the catch is everything here. Everything here, uh, food-wise, um, a lot of the things are cheaper per per purchase, but you just get less of it. So instead of me buying a kilo of this stuff, I bought about a, a quarter of a kilo in this pack. And you can see the meat's already starting starting to turn white. So it's, it's probably probably chicken. I still don't know. I don't care. I don't care. It's some kind of meat. Just try to turn this sucker over. Oh, I nearly had him. Yep, yep. Beautiful. Yep. You'll be right, mate. Come on, you bastard, get over here. It's starting to smell really good. Bloody hell. Oh, get a load of that, mate. Can't get that in Sydney, eh? Yep. Definitely can't get this in RV Bay. We've got to settle for a meat pie over there. Meat pie and fish and chips, mate. This is starting to look really good. I reckon another probably five minutes and she'll be right. Lovely. Mmm. So what's everyone cooking in Aussie, Aussie land, eh? Or wherever you, wherever you are. I don't know if I'm going to put this online or what. I think I say that in all my videos. I don't know if I'm going to put it online. Yeah, bullshit. I'm going to put it all online. Show everyone what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. And, uh, you know, you're not supposed to, you know, chop and change with your wooden spoon, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's all going on the same plate, right? Over here, that's where it's going. That rice is looking nice, looking really soft. This is uh, Japanese rice, so if you cook it right, it should be really soft and small. If it's hard, it's not ready. These will be ready soon. These will be ready soon. I reckon I probably used perhaps a tad too much oil in this one, but it's me first go. I had a crack, and she's looking and smelling bloody all right, I reckon. And on top of the rice, or on top of all this dish, I'll just rest this bloke over here. You'll be right. I'm actually going to use some of these things. I'm not too sure what they call them. But they're really, really nice. Some of them, sometimes they're sour. I might taste one first. I might taste one first before I go and ruin me dinner. Mmm, bloody nice, I reckon. So the rice is going to go over there first. We have to strain it. And then these babies are going to go on top. Real nice. I would have used, I would have used the sauce. I would have used the sauce. But there was, it was already sort of a marinade. Or a marinade. 